Hello lovies, welcome to my humble little channel. My name is Lisa and I love to share with you my wholesome vegetarian comfort food recipes. And today I will be sharing with you three of my not favorite but uh, three smoothie recipes that I really really love. I drink smoothies for breakfast every single morning, no exception, especially green ones. And I try to pack as many goodies in there as I can. For today I will be making a spicy cherry chocolate smoothie. Then I will share with you my lemon ginger smoothie recipe. And last but not least, I will be making a savory smoothie, which is great during the day as a quick snack, quick pick me up to get some extra vitamins in your system. So let's get started with our first one, the cherry chocolate smoothie. To my blender, I'm adding one cup of frozen cherries, a handful of spinach, two tablespoons of raw cacao, powder, a quarter of a teaspoon of cayenne pepper and a teaspoon of turmeric, a tiny bit of vanilla powder, some plant milk, one cup, I'm using oat milk, and one or two bananas. And for some healthy fats and for some creaminess I'm adding about a tablespoon of flaxseed oil. I love my chocolate cherry smoothies, really spicy. If you don't like that, just add a tiny pinch of cayenne pepper for that little kick. You don't have to make it as spicy as I do. Now for the next smoothie, the lemon ginger one. I'm going to use an organic lemon, really important because you don't want that wax layer that is on uh, conventional lemons, which is completely unedible. I'm going to use my thin slicer or the uh, peeler. So I peel the skin off and I make sure that I have as little white part as possible because that is quite bitter. And I think I'm going to use about four and then I'll just cut off the rest of the skin of my lemon. Then I will add quite a bunch of greens. My green of choice will be purslane. This is winter purslane. Then a handful of mint leaves and then quite a chunk of ginger. And this is organic ginger, so I'll use it with skin and all. One large medjool date, one ripe banana, or if you want, two ripe bananas. Then this ingredient is optional, but I like to use some green powder, and this is Tulsi powder, which is the same as holy basil. Then again, some flaxseed oil, ice cubes, and about a cup of water. If you have frozen bananas, you can use that. So let's move to the last smoothie, my savory one. I have a bunch of greens. I'm using a mix of kale and spinach, but again, it's up to you which greens you are using. This is going to the blender. I would say two handfuls. Then some fresh herbs. I like to use parsley and dill. You can use cilantro or uh, basil. Then some celery, three sticks, half a cucumber, a really small clove of garlic, half a lemon, but I'm going to use a whole lemon. I like it sour. Then a whole avocado. And a splash of olive oil. You can add salt to taste. Next, some water, about a cup, ice cubes. I will add a few peppercorns, 
and I have a really good high-speed blender which will crush them into powder if you don't have that just grind some pepper in there you can add one small date for a little bit of sweetness Whether you call this a smoothie or a soup, it doesn't really matter. It is really tasty and super refreshing. Even in winter time, I like to eat this. Let's give this a taste. Yeah, this is amazing. All the herbs and the lemon, it's super fresh and extremely nutritious. Here we have three super simple and delicious ways to get in all of the good stuff. If you want more smoothie recipes, just let me know in the comments below. And I really hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.